This is the reading activity for April 16th, 2020. Words to know before we start reading. Avocado, pumpkin, eggplant, tomato, fruits, surprise. Let's begin. All fruits have seeds. Some fruits may surprise you. An avocado is a fruit. A tomato is a fruit. A cucumber is a fruit. A pepper is a fruit. A pumpkin is a fruit. An eggplant is a fruit. Can you name some other surprising fruits? This is the end of our book. Now we can talk about the book. These are suggested questions that you can ask your child. Question one. What other surprising fruits can you name? Your child can use these words to start their response. Surprising fruits I can name are, and then they can list the names of the fruits. Number two, what is the main idea of this book? Your child can begin their response with, the main idea of this book is, and then they can tell you the main idea. Or, the book is mostly about, and they can tell you what the book is mostly about. Question three, how are peppers different from pumpkins? Your child can begin their response with these words. Peppers are different from pumpkins by or because. You may also ask, how are they the same? Your child may begin their response with, peppers and pumpkins are the same by or because. This is the end of the reading activity for April 16th, 2020. This is the beginning of the reading and writing activity for April 17th, 2020. Number one, please reread, that's a fruit. Number two, ask the student, what is your favorite fruit? Why? Have them talk to you about that and add details, give you more information about why. Number three, have the student draw a picture of their favorite fruit. This is an example of my drawing of my favorite fruit, a watermelon. Number four, have the student label their picture. When we label our picture or our drawing, we write the names of the parts of our drawing. For example, these are some of the parts of my drawing, the watermelon, the flesh, and the seed. This is labeling the picture. When your kindergartner is labeling the picture, they might not know how to spell the word. That is okay. We teach them to sound out the word. We say, say the word slowly or stretch the word to listen to the sounds in the word. What sounds do you hear? For example, in the word seed, let's say it slowly. Let's stretch it. Seed. What sounds do you hear? Your kindergartner might hear the sound seed. Then they have to think, what letter makes that sound? Hmm, the S makes that sound. So they may write the S as their label. That's okay. Your kindergartner might also hear seed. E is in there. E is the sound in that word. So they might write the letter E. That's okay. Seed. Seed. Your kindergartner might hear the d sound at the end, and they know that the d makes the d sound, so they might write the d. And this is how they might write the word seed. Those are the sounds they hear in the word, and that is okay. Number five, have the student write two to three sentences explaining why it is their favorite fruit. These are sentence stems that you can use to help your child in their writing. The first one says, my favorite fruit is, I spelled watermelon the way a kindergartner might spell it because of the sounds. I love to eat watermelon because these are some vocabulary words you might want to use to help your child write. Yummy, tasty, delicious, sour, sweet, juicy, healthy. I wrote, I love to eat watermelon because it is yummy. Every time I eat watermelon, I feel happy. So I'm going to use happy and write happy. You can use these vocabulary words to help write the sentences.